First, you have to have your iMovie opened and you have to have everything ready to go. As you can see right here, I have my original footage. Everything's prepared. So next, you need to grab the special effects. And now I, for you, I have created or put together a whole bunch of special effects and the server. So if you go to go, connect to server, put in your information. And once you put in your information, you're going to want to make sure you click student over here. That's where I have all the video footage saved. Then once you open up the student server, look for a folder called video effects. And inside the video effects, you're going to find a whole bunch of different video footage I've put together. Green screens, stock footage, and for the special effects, we're going to talk about pre-key. Now you can see there's going to be a whole bunch of different categories you can choose from. On mine, I'm going to be using electricity, so I got the electric bolt, and explosions. So once you find the one you want, you're going to want to drag that into your iMovie. So I got the electric bolt, I'm going to drag it into my iMovie, and as you can kind of see, I've already prepared all of my special effects. I got my explosion one, my electric bolt, sideways explosions, the electric spot, I even have sound effects here. So once you have all of your special effects that you want dragged into iMovie, here's where the magic's about to happen. So right here in the beginning of my hand, I'm going to have the electric bolt appearing. So I'm going to grab my electric bolt, drag it on top of, and I want to make sure it lines up. So as soon as my hand opens, the electric bolt comes out. I like that. So right now, I have no control of where the lightning bolt is going to be. It automatically appears in the middle. So I want to change that. So I'm going to go to cutaway and you want to click picture in picture. And over here, now I can actually control where and how big I want the lightning bolt to be. If I wanted it to appear out of my pinky, I could do that. But I want to appear it in the center of my palm and I want it to be exploding as large as possible. So right here's kind of how I like it. Once you are done, you can click the check mark button. And now if I press play, and now I'm happy with it. So next one, my next pre-keyed footage I found is the explosions right here. So I'm going to drag my explosions on top of my hand, adjust the length that I want it to. And again, the explosion, again, it ten this one, it's lucky it works right here, the cutaway, where we want to change that picture in picture adjust the size, adjust the length, and I'm going to make this one kind of a small explosion right here. Then once I'm happy with it, click the check mark. And, oh, didn't, I want it to start a little bit sooner. So I'll move it over to the left. And now if I watch my movie, got my electric, and then I got my explosion over here. But to take your special effects to the next level now, throw in sound effects. So I want my electricity to play the same time as my electric and then I want a sound effect of the explosion. I get my large explosion right here. Drag that in during the large explosion. And with this, here are the simple steps of how to create special effects. In the next minute of the film, I'm going to show you some advanced effects right here on this part. Rotating, using video effects, changing the colors, and using green screens. So over here, I have, th I have a whole bunch of different special effects going on. So to start off, I'm going to grab my electric bolt, drag it into my movie, and I want it to, again, same thing as last time, adjust the length however you want it to be. And for me... It looks like I want my electric bolt to play for about three and a half seconds. And again, cut away, it automatically appears in the center. You want to change that to picture in picture. But here's your problem. First problem, lightning bolt going up and down. I want it to rotate. Right. So here's how you're going to have to rotate it. Click the crop button over here. And you're going to want to rotate it either right or clockwise. So I'm going to rotate mine clockwise. Click the check mark. And now, as you can see, oh, gotta go back. Now it's rotated in the correct direction I want. Gonna make it slightly larger. And this is pretty good for me right now, I'm liking it. And now, if I want to, 
let's say I didn't want blue electricity, I can change the colors doing two ways. Number one is if I click the paint palette, you can play with the colors over here. As you see, it's turning very, very blue if I move this to the right, or it's turning kind of whitish. If I wanted to add a little bit yellow hue, I can move that one or turn it back to the blue. So right now I'm going to keep it yellow. The second thing I can do is go to my video effects and I can throw in a different one. So I can throw an x-ray so you can find all these different filters or slash video effects to throw in there. So I'm going to stick with the sci-fi and I'm going to change mine back to the color blue. I like that. Oh, now it's green. Actually, I like it better. So now I got green lightning bolts. And if I press the play button, you can see my green lightning bolts coming out, hitting the computer. If you have green screen video footage, so in this one I have an electric spot, and the background is green. So doing picture in picture is not quite going to work. Here's what I'm going to do instead. So I'm going to drag it into my video, make it a little and if I do picture in picture here, you're going to see that there is a green box. All of that green is still showing through, so it's not going to work. What you need to do instead is grab the green screen slash blue screen effect and click the OK button. But here is the issue, just like the cutaway, the lightning bolt only stays in the center of your screen. So here's a trick around this. We can actually trick the computer. If you click the crop one, crop tool, and go crop to fill, you'll see the lightning bolt is in the center. Well, if I change the size of it, so right now the lightning bolt is near the top left of this rectangle. So now if I press OK, now the lightning bolt's appearing on the top left of my movie. So if I change it, if I put this lightning bolt or the electric ball near the bottom right of the rectangle, now it's going to appear on the bottom right of my movie. So right now it's too big for me, so I'm going to trick the computer by rotating this to the right, and the ball is a little bit smaller, and I'm going to change this. I kind of want my electric ball to be in the middle left-hand side to appear in my hand. Let's see how this looks. It looks like I need to move it a little bit more to the left, but the height's pretty good. So I'm going to adjust this so I can move it a little bit more to the left. And you know what? That's pretty good for me. So now if I click the check mark to save my work, play my movie, let's see how this works. Charging up, I got my green lightning bolt, sound effect, and I'm going to throw in the explosion right there at the end. 